What's going on YouTube? Luke Photography Walker here with another Star Wars action figure unboxing video. Today we're going to follow up with the release of Book of Boba Fett with a Bounty Hunter unboxing. Not going to be Boba Fett, so don't get too excited. But it's a great, great Bounty Hunter nonetheless. Great story. If you've read the Legends and all that kind of stuff, you kind of know a little bit more about him. I don't know that much about him, but hey, it's going to be a great figure. Great photographs anyway. Speaking of photographs, why don't you head over to my social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all at Luke underscore Photography Walker. When you're finished there, head on back and check out my other videos here on YouTube. Like those, comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. And let's get to the unboxing. And here it is. 4LOM, 4LOM, whatever you want to call him. Great, great Black Series figure. Just got this today. So, you guys are seeing it for the first time as I am. As most unboxings go. So if you guys have a complaint about the way that my uh, uh, speech is, please don't because I do these live and in one shot. Everything you hear is on the fly, on the shooting from the hip, as you will. So back to the unboxing. Great, great figure. I really, really like this uh, uh, Black Series black and red packaging. They've changed it up a little bit, put little, uh, you know, things on the side. So this must be a an older one. I'm not really sure about it, that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, so Forlom, I'm going to call him for this video, was a uh, protocol droid who apparently broke away from his programming. He had a logic glitch, which allowed him to break away, and um, he became a bounty hunter. So, uh, he's been doing it for a while, according to the rustiness of his, um, um, droid body here. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, just a great, great, great looking figure. Can't wait to break him open. He has some, uh, some great pictures of him here on the back. Put my knife this time. So we don't have to struggle with a pan even though we seem to be struggling with the knife. Very nice. As you can see, the rustiness uh, just kind of stands out on his uh, body there. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get the... Uh, the blaster rifle out. Very long. Definitely made from a uh, a German MG. Very nice. Love the uh, the bipod there. Very nice blaster. Very suiting of a uh, a droid bounty hunter. The droid bounty hunters always kind of scared me the most because you know they had no feeling one way or the other. So there was no change in them unless you unless there was a change into their programming, which we kind of seen, you know, in The Mandalorian with IG-11. And uh, so that, you know, that was kind of pretty cool. It'd be interesting to see how the origins of Forlom and his... Um, you know, kind of how old he is and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure it's out there in the books, in the comic and stuff. Good weight to this figure. Love the head. Very, uh, as you can see, he's got the protocol droid body. Uh, C-3PO. Very nice. Very nice figure. The articulation is very much there. Everything bands. I love the rust look to him. Let's turn him back around here. Very nice. Nice paint application, very nice paint application. Nice. Here we are with a blaster in his hand. Fits very, very nicely. No problem at all there. Even though I just popped it out with uh, relative ease. Get that thumb around there. There we go. There he is. 
He holds that very nice. Love the side profile with the blaster. Kind of raise that up. A little bent. I probably bent that. Uh, putting it on there. Very nice. I love the uh, I love the Star Wars bounty hunters, as I've said before. They always amaze me. Obviously, Boba Fett stood out the most, but I love the whole line. Uh, the whole lineup that was on Empire Strikes Back of the uh, bounty hunter. That whole scene really um, stuck with me, seeing all of those, uh, all the different bounty hunters from all walks of life, and a droid there was always cool. So when I seen four Lama, I had to get him. So that's why. As you can look back, I unboxed uh, Zuckus. Zuckus was also on the bridge. Check it out. Head on over and check it out. And there it is. Four Lom unboxed and out into the wild. What a great figure. Great weight to this figure. I love a figure that has a really good weight to them. They're really easy to pose. Really to make easy to make poses and easy to stand up. So yeah, big thumbs up on that part. Great blaster. Seems very, very sturdy. Great paint job. Great face. Everything is very, very much in order. Great packaging. Two thumbs up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like and subscribe here on YouTube. It really, really helps me. Every like, every comment really, really helps. You have, guys have no, much, no idea how much it helps. And then check out my other videos here on YouTube. I've done a few unboxings now. I really, really enjoy it, and I hope you guys enjoy it also. Then check out my social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Luke underscore Photography Walker. That's Luke underscore Photography Walker. Once again, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.